In the ancient times, if you ever claimed to see a UFO, you'd be entirely crazy. But today, it is the headline of the news all over the world. Unidentified Flying Object An unidentified flying object is any aerial phenomenon that cannot be identified. The term is widely used for the claimed observation of extraterrestrial spacecraft. On April 14, 1561, residents of Nuremberg described the appearance of a large black triangular object. According to witness, there were also hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other odd-shaped objects that moved erratically overhead. Similarly, there have been different cases where people claim to have seen such flying objects in the sky, but they were ignored or dismissed with the reasoning of, oh, you were just imagining things. There have been popular stories of UFO, and it is not something that has just started from 19th century or 20th century. It's been there for ages. Mac Manuel UFO Photography The photograph of UFO was taken in Oregon. It was reprinted in magazine and newspapers. Some called it hoax, but some argued that this is genuine. Evelyn Trent was walking back to a farmhouse after feeding the rabbits on a farm. Before she reached the house, she claimed to see a slow-moving metallic disc-shaped object. Her husband also saw that, and they managed to take two photos of it. There have been similar cases where photographs of UFOs were taken. There is another case, Roseville UFO incident. In mid-1947, there was a crash and people claimed that it was flying disc, but US military stated that it was just a weather balloon. The topic of UFO crash increased as the time went on, until 2020, where US military officially released some disturbing footages. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. That's not an LNS though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, if there's a good thing, thing, it's rotating. If you think that this is as far as it goes with the claims and the evidences, then you are highly mistaken. A few days ago, I received some disturbing pictures and claims about UFO being seen in Brazil. I received the pictures, which looked like some light, but when zoomed in, it gave a disturbing image. Something similar to UFO. If this is disturbing enough and have already caught your interest, then you will be baffled by the amount of similar videos and cases I found. There were several cases and photographs and video evidence available on a site called Reddit and its subreddit UFOs. But one video caught my eye. Ahora, hoy hay super luna. Hace más de una hora, mi papá que estaba sentado afuera me dice: Ah, mira, parece que, que alguien está volando un dron. Vemos una luz en el cielo que está moviéndose sutilmente como un dron que está flotando. Suelta. También parece una estrella. También se está moviendo, haciendo los movimientos, los mismos movimientos regulares. Cuando le tiro la foto, pongo la la sensibilidad de la ISO va todo al máximo y cuando le damos zoom a ver qué estamos viendo vemos The video captures disturbing and unexplained photos. The person who sent me the photos of what he experienced got in a call with me to talk about what he saw. Here is the interview. So, what time was it when you saw this UFO looking figure in the sky? Uh, here on Brazil, I I think it was approximately 8, eight hours p.m. 8 in the morning? 
No, at night. At night. Okay, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay, got you. What were you doing at that time? Nothing. Just playing with my dog. Okay, so you were playing with your dog. Then, how did it grab your attention? I mean, like, how did you spot that in the sky? No, I just saw stars and I just wanted to take photos. And then uh, it appeared this. Okay. And what was your first thought when you saw it in the sky? Um, I thought it was a planet or, I don't know, a star even, but... After an hour or more, I see it wasn't, so... So it stayed for an hour? Yes. <laughs> okay. There are also ancient drawings and tablets which are unexplained and shows the evidence of alien existence. But this was just not enough evidence until I stumbled upon an interview. It's an interesting subject matter because uh, I think uh, people who do know about it and, you know, obviously I know a limited amount of, about it, but people refer to it as, you know, in various ways, right? The, the military refers to these UFOs, unidentified flying objects as unidentified aerial phenomena. And, um, you know, others have their different descriptors. Uh, so it's it's a kind of minefield um of random interpretations. What we have Tom here really to talk about is that the Pentagon released three videos this week, um, one from 2004, two from 2015. And these, Tom, these are Navy videos, correct? They are Navy videos, yes. Three videos. Um, but there are other videos um, that the military has. Um, and, you know, I think we, uh, in the next few years, we'll probably see some of those come out as well. In the interview, he said that there are other unreleased footages that have been kept low and hidden, but it doesn't mean that there won't be incidents to catch people's attention. In Rio de Janeiro, the same UFO as the person who sent me photos of was seen, and it crashed in the hills of the city, Marche. 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 And in that video, yes. what they were telling about? Well, they were telling about the UFO that both landed here in the city mm -hmm. and the military, the cops, everyone that was there secured the area. Uh, they they took off all the civilians that lived nearby to so they can't see what's what's happening. And everyone had, that tried to see it with drones, the, this kind of thing, they were shooting at it. Mm, no, it didn't. It didn't land it. It, it, it fall. I don't remember the word in English for that. You are, oh, okay, so you uh, to, it was hovering over the state, the city? Yes, it was flying over. This, the, okay, got it. the people that live... Okay. Yeah, the people that live that lives in the city were making videos talking about that they were seeing strange lights in the sky. Something just dropped off the sky and ended up landing in a... This, Behind the mountain, I think, making a very shiny light of the crash. Did did somebody go and like investigate it? No, because it was already in the morning and everyone was asleep. And when they were going there to see if what it was, it was already secured with cops, the military, and things. On the night of May 13, 2020, locals from Rio de Janeiro County, called the Mage, saw what seems to be a UFO in the sky. Oh, a blue light right turning red and crashed on a lake. Several helicopters and military vehicles rushed to the scene, not allowing anyone in and shooting down drones. People report hearing several booms and flashes of light in the sky right on the next morning.
Act one person claimed to bypass the military security and filmed the actual UFO. Watch this. The number of people who saw this is just overwhelming and I really hope they won't be able to cover up this event. Will we once again forget about this incident and get brainwashed or will we finally get some answers? The only question left unanswered is, is something big happening under our noses? Comment down your views and we will discuss it there. Thank you for watching.